the wild wild west you know who came up with that study who's that the university of guys that lie <laughs> <laughs> that's just a classic norm mcdonald that's a uh i always like those guys that hold it down like they have big like huge dicks do you have any friends that are like is the, the move i was explaining this to Brittany, my wife the other day i was just like I was like, the move is, because she was like, why do white guys always downplay their dicks? We could talk to black guys. They're like, oh, my dick's so fuck. I'm like, well, first of all, well, I mean, let me tell you about a little bio 101. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but she, I was basically telling her, I'm like, well, the move is you play, you downplay it. So when someone sees it, they go, oh, nice. But then there's this whole other move. You're like, oh, my shit's the biggest. And I know dudes used to do that. And I've heard them get exposed because I know I would, mm. it would just happen. I would know a woman they, they laid with and the lady would give me a scoop. It'd be like, it's not that big. I try not to bring it up. You don't the, bring it up at all? To the woman? No, I don't think I've ever brought it up. You don't talk dong pre, whatsoever? Pre a woman seeing my dong, there's, I don't think I've ever once been like, my dong. get ready. It's all right. But I've heard dudes hold it. This guy was holding I'll it down I'll hit him occasionally with a, this thing's not going to work tonight. <laughs> 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 I'll give him a heads up. I'm like, look, you can we can hang out. It's not going to work. Yeah, it's out of order. It's well out of order. <laughs> yeah, but I've heard dudes who like talk their dicks up to other dudes. For some oh, reason, but yes, you know, my yes. to other so dudes, yeah, yeah, and then but then they get exposed, like you know, of a mutual female friend who at this point yeah, in my life, a dick bragger. Oh, yeah, hey, Francis Ellis is with us, everybody on the podcast, oh, hey, big Frank. I would care more about dudes knowing that I had a big dick than women. You probably do have a big dick, you fucking weirdo. No, <laughs> you definitely have a weird dick. I don't want to go you have there. a weird big dick. Look at that get body, that. dude. Boy, look at that body. Thing sticking, that thing's sticking straight <laughs> out, dude. Damn, I hate how fucking handsome and sculpted Frank get is. Get out of here, it's you awesome. Goose. I hate it. That thing's probably me sticking off. straight out, dude. Do you know how good looking and in shape you have to be to be a fucking pink ginger and still be handsome? <laughs> You, the odds were stacked against it's you. Been dude. a battle. It's been a battle. <laughs> you should be hideous. What was it like I growing up? What was well, it? I not. was most of my life. Oh really? Were you really? Yeah, I used to get bullied for it. For what, what they being say? Ugly? Yeah, people would give me all get kinds of shit. Get out of the porch, shit. freak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they say I had a big nose. Well, that's correlated with big dongs, apparently too. Fuck. And oh, um, a little I was really tiny Irish nose. <laughs> I really pink skin. Then I started wearing sunscreen more. <laughs> size twelves. <laughs> Me too. Fuck. I'm also six three with a size twelve. I got nine. some. I got some room in these though. Yeah, those are <laughs> absurd shoes, dude. So you got you were bullied. You were you were uh, what you call it? An ugly duckling and turned into a beautiful swan. I can really. I was a bit of a the red swan. I was a fat little gremlin my whole life. <laughs> Beast. Was, yeah, dude. It's good. Yeah. I was a big fat gremlin my whole life, just bullying, yeah. attacking. It's the best. So you were, uh, you said you were on the prowl, basically, though. Yeah. Preemptive strike. Preemptive strike, everybody. You got to stay in the preemptive strike mode. It's if somebody, if I was a ginger and somebody called me a ginger, I would immediately be like, well, your fucking dad's dead, so shut up. You fuck. Like, you got to always have the nuke. <laughs> yeah. You got to have the nuke immediately. I used to do that. Yeah, you have to. I would, and I would get in trouble. Because my reactions were never commensurate with the offense against well, it's me. It's a ridiculous offense. There's a racial. You're hanging hate out. Crime. You're getting yeah. hate crime. You're hanging out, and someone's making fun of you for something you can't change. Yeah. Unless yeah. you started talking shit, and then they're like, "Shut up!" Freak. No, I didn't. I wanted to be friends with everyone. Your mind. Yeah, that never helps. Folks. What would they say? Like you fucking. One my guy. Mom remember, said I remember that this... you're red hair because your dad. You know, They'd always ask me if my pubic hair matched the color on my head. Sexual assault. Which was so abrasive. I, I I don't. You know, it's like that's such a personal question, and also, why wouldn't it? Yeah, obviously, it obviously does. Guard dog's it? penis and his dick hair doesn't match his oh, head yeah, hair. he's two-toned. Is that right? Yep, it's true. Yeah, but you're like a mutt. Yeah, you I'm are. Disgusting. He's like he's wop from the fucking eyebrows down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> he's got an Irish brain and a wop body. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> Bad combo. It is an. It is actually a, kind of the best there. Yeah. You want a good wop body? You get a big dong. Brain. You're hairy. Yeah, cool. then you get, you get, you get a nice Irish depressed brain. Irish brain. Yeah, yeah. it's true. <laughs> true. You look at your spaghetti meatballs and go, what's the point? <laughs> it's even the what's point. The we all die point, anyway. Ma. <laughs> hey, Ma, what's the point of it all? <laughs> <laughs> Frank, what's going on with you? Uh, sometimes I like to just, I, I like you guys so much that I just want to be part of it and, and see what, what's happening. That's I got ever. Nice. I, I didn't used to, but since I started doing your pod, sometimes I now listen to it a lot. So this has become surreal 
to be on yeah. it again. I, I hadn't. This we're is the not first... talking right now. Me and Shane aren't talking. We're pissed. We're locked in Mortal Kombat. I don't know if you've noticed. I haven't talked to Matt once. Yeah, yet. we're not. Me and him. Don't you guys speak had that anymore. whole shoe thing. We're that probably, worked. No, that we no, weren't no, talking no, to that, each other. That's just showbiz, dude. We put it on for the camera. Yeah. We hate each other right now. Yeah, yeah Matt's Matt. Matt's dude, Matt. I won the tournament. Fucking... I won the best podcaster comedy tournament. He beat me in the Retard's Choice Awards, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you want to know something? What? I voted. You voted? I knew you would. I saw it. I went, I'm not going to hate the button. I wanted, to see, I wanted to see what the scores were every I time. I knew you were going to do I voted that. on every single one. Did you really? Yeah. And then I was like, God, I hope you can't see who I'm voting for. <laughs> that would be psychotic <laughs> shit. I saw I the to button. see the scoreboards, dude. What, are the, what was the final score? Don't tell me. I didn't, actually, I don't, didn't don't see ours. I swear to God, I didn't see ours. Don't tell me. I was voting on all the other ones. I didn't I didn't see ours. You were fucking... I'll, let me see. <laughs> I think we were in a barn burner, dude. <laughs> dude, I kept trying to touch. I kept trying to check Twitter this weekend. I would pull up and see like Matt McCusker, and I'd read ver- whoever I was verse. I would get was deeply it? embarrassed and just go, "Fuck, Ooh, dude! I hope nobody wow. looks at this." Yeah, Fifty-four to forty-six. Shane. Fifty-four to forty-six. That's not exactly neck and neck. That's pretty close. That's pretty Less close. Than 10. How many votes? Well, I guess it's ten. Well, fifty-four, forty-six, uh, three thirty-two hundred. Yeah. What is a very good sample size? What do you mean? Fifty-four and forty-six. Hundred basically. A hundy, yeah. I said 110. Fuck. Scrub that. <laughs> what, the percentages? I said 110 off a while ago. Percent? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the percent? 100. That was the percentage, yeah, not yeah, the... Yeah. Was it 100? No, not the total votes. It was 3,200 people. Jesus voted. Christ. No, I mean, so I mean, it's pretty much official now. I mean, that was, that was like a city <laughs> election. Small city. <laughs> rural city. Did better than Village. Lori Lightfoot. True. She get re- she Matt, off, she dude, off, dude, let it go. Dude, I fucking can't. Yeah, I knew dude. you were gonna do this. I had my, I had t-shirts pre-printed, dude. I'm like, you fucking failed. Now they're in Africa. Like, now they're in Africa, dude. Yeah. 2023. Asperion. I was going to my fucking stand-up bio. <laughs> Fuck. Recent winner of fucking <laughs> Twitter poll. That's why I'm dressed so flashy today. I put on my Hawaiian bucket hat. I said, God damn, well, I knew I was I, number one. Baby. I would read them. I'd be like, this shit is so embarrassing. Oh my god, I hope I lose. And the next morning, I go, I won again. Nice. Yeah, I guess I. Yeah, I guess I am definitely better than that guy. <laughs> oh man, it's like someone poking that bee. You have like a bee's nest of just unsavory goblin traits inside of you, and that thing was just poking mine all weekend. So I was going, oh, stop yeah. it! I try to hide this part of myself. I voted. I, I got in there and voted mischievously. I knew you would. Sometimes. I saw the button. I said, "I'm not touching it." I voted for you every time, dude. Thank you. Yeah, you little fuck. <laughs> There's no way. What? I don't think you actually voted for him. He oh, did. In the I guarantee he did. He did? You voted, voted for him? Matt. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I voted. I voted for you like a hundred times. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, look. This could be the how thing. the dust settled. Dude. This could be don't the deny thing. the election. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't deny the I results. And a recap. Don't deny the results, dude. It's <laughs> a big lie, dude. Yeah. Francis, well, Francis, you weren't even fucking on that thing, dude. I, didn't know I, what, I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> don't worry about what it. What is dude. it? Is it really the retard awards? Yeah. Yeah, it, it literally is. Obviously, <laughs> obviously I won. I'm <laughs> honored to be omitted. <laughs> it was truly, yeah, by the people, for the people. How is this podcast? You say you watch it. Is it any good? No, I, I listen wonder. to it. Listen. The, when I'm driving. Working, man. There's obviously. some really funny parts. When you're work, when you're driving and just fucking giving hell to minorities in the road. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. You are. I mean, <laughs> hell yeah. But watch out. <laughs> <laughs> watch out, brother. <laughs> There's going to be such a good video of you like, call the police. You know? <laughs> Help! Call the police. No, I've been shot. I've yeah. been shot. I've been shot now. You know what I wanted to Great. do was I wanted to buy. Uh, I wanted to buy um, Meek Mill's bulletproof SUV. Dude, you should get that. He was trying to sell it, and uh, I How DM'd him it? about it. Did you really? He was selling for like 160 grand. It wasn't as bad as I would have thought. That's pretty cool. And it's totally yeah. bulletproof. Really? And I thought if I had that, then I could really lean into to making sure people are abiding by the laws of the road. Yeah. You should get some tactical gear. <laughs> yeah. Maybe even a weapon. You should arm yourself. You should go out with a gun. <laughs> I bet you I could get one legally. A, a gun? Yeah, yeah, for sure. In New York. Yeah. It's not as hard as I would have thought. I looked into it once. Yeah, I think we it's talked easier. about that. Yeah, we were yeah. trying to figure out Supreme you, Court. You're looking to get a gun. Really? Yeah, they they were like, nah, dude, you can get guns in New York. You have to be. Yeah. New York City was trying to be fucking soft, dude. Yeah. Although if there is one place that shouldn't have guns, 
when did they change their mind though on that, the guns? I thought like last year. Did it work? It was it like a so many buses of Mexicans came up here and they're like, fine, fucking you can everybody. Have guns. Yeah, definitely. Did that worked. It probably exactly when it happened. I just had the guy pulled up and gave me my acai bowl, dude, and it was like. I was thinking about it. I'm like, dude, never in my ancestors' wildest dreams did they think a Mexican man, a 50 year old Mexican man, would come up on a scooter and give me a fruit from the Amazon. <laughs> yeah. And I just walked in like, nice. Yeah, that's it. And you sit here and talk. This is he's his life's almost over. That guy is a halfway point in life, and he's just buzzing around. It's a good just, life, though. It's an awesome life, dude. Getting to whip a scooter, dude. Imagine if say I don't know where this guy's from. He didn't speak English, but imagine he was from a place that was genuinely food insecure. Yeah. And now he's just like, here you go, dude. Yeah. He's a fucking hoagie. Every now and again, he fucking munches, dude. It's That's the best. Yeah, that is pretty fucking cool. Isn't that cool? It is cool. I never thought, I wouldn't even thought that when second grade that I'd have a, ever have a Mexican man ride up to me on a moped and it's like, here you are, sir. No. And I go, thank you. I had no, I had no concept. You you thought Mexican man, you thought I saw idea. that coming <laughs> for me. Yeah, definitely. And I said, <laughs> you, were, you were a Harvard man. When you were said, singing someday, your songs. Someday it'll be easier than it is right now. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, was I right. I, I used to go to the counter to get my burritos. Yeah, now it's yeah, the burritos no more. Here. No, now the burrito comes to me. And they're handed to me at the door while I clutch our Dude, French how, bulldog. Dude, how sick would it be for an Uber Eats, but it's from tacos literally from Mexico, and people have to sneak them into the country and give them to you? That'd be pretty tight. Like, real authentic Mexican yeah. cuisine. Mm. Got in here that gets to you the authentic fucking way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a 13-year-old boy through a tunnel with a guy with a machine gun behind yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> you check your thing and you're like, oh, my Uber Eats driver's in a shipping container right Great. now. Off the post. Great. He's <laughs> oh, the damn, a guy died in a shipping <laughs> container. My call for a mm. refund. You're like, this is fucking bullshit. I mean, that's how some guys get snooze. What? Grubhub, some snooze. Really? Yeah, oh, they, yeah, they yeah, you can do the... sex slaves get stuck in a shipping container. Whoa. Overheat. <laughs> They go, fuck, Ooh. they burnt my fucking sex life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot you can get horses like, right off your phone like Uber Eats now. That's kind of cool. Is that true? I'd imagine. Uh, yeah, you can get whores on the internet. Yeah, on the internet. I think Is that's the only way to though? get whores now. Yeah, I guess so on the internet. You can't really go street. Street walking is kind of yeah. tough. Hmm. You know? Don't, that must have been cool, though, back in the 80s to like go to like the street walking spots. You just walk down the block and they're like, hey, baby, you so, looking for a good time? Yeah, just a lady dressed like a slut. Yeah. Like, There's a whore. And you would just five dollars. Yeah, really. And then a guy comes and beats the fuck out of you <laughs> <laughs> in an alleyway while you're getting your dick sucked. They shoot up and die. <laughs> what a life. Yeah, they shoot up and die. And you gotta go <laughs> home to your wife. You're like, yeah, some jerk off stole my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's those were the days, dude. When a guy, when a, just a hardworking guy could go just fucking get a blowjob from a heroin addicted lady and go back to his family and drink like six beers and. Mm. Tell his wife to snap the belt at the kids. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck upstairs, dude. How 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 were women not getting pregnant? Bef if if brothels have been around since before, oh they get pregnant and, and uh, oh they would, birth control. They do oh, get pregnant. They'd get pregnant. All, all that's of the, them. That's the injured list. Some of them probably do. You know what happens? Yeah. What you just you old go dig, in? You the pimp would go. Come here. Give me that baby. You're not getting them all. They would scoop the babies out. Oh, the babies! They not would the abort sperms. those babies. Yeah. Oh no, not the sperms. Yeah, I guess I should have done an abortion act out better. What do you mean, the pimp? Come here. That's what you do to the baby inside the pussy. Get out. You say you ain't pregnant, bitch. Come here. <laughs> See. <laughs> I don't know how pimps got like they pass through that. Like oh. they are so like you know obviously I'm not saying being a pimp is cool but they are for like the let's let's say like the who do you think the biggest scoundrels of society are obviously pedophiles. Scoundrel. You know. Yeah, pedophiles are scoundrel. Uh, you scoundrel. Yeah, they're scoundrels. Yeah, like the rap number scallion. one. You knew you should have waited. <laughs> yeah. You impatient You don't bastard. think we all want to do that, dude? <laughs> don't cut to the front of the line. You got to wait like the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying it's pedophiles. It's That's jumping the gun. At the burglars. Burglars. Burglars are, dude, I hate, if somebody burgled me. Dude, it would suck. I'd be fucking pissed. You'd never be comfortable in your home again. You know who I think it is? I think it's those people that play like the knockout game. Those are just some pretty bad scoundrels. Just pure anarchists. But again, yeah, go up behind people and you just seem punch to have a them. problem with a particular group. Who's who says? What's what's you that might guy? Need the <laughs> who is that guy? You, why? 
You paint that guy. I'm not painting that guy. You're blocking black people. They're busy, dude. They got to get somewhere. Is that a, okay? They need to use the shoulder. I mean, I, got, I saw a version of the Mexican man that Matt was talking about. Mexican knockout guys? Yeah, they came the right up on their... doors that come and jump The luchadors do not <laughs> fucking do the knockout game. He dude. straps himself out of his Grubhub warm-up. <laughs> no, you know. That's they keep their fists warm in the midst for. Yeah. <laughs> they come out and beat up old Asian ladies. Yeah, the Asians need to keep theirs, too. I, every, t- every time, I'm like, where the fuck is this guy? I see his thing, he stopped. He probably gets off and beats the shit <laughs> out of an Asian cage lady. Match. <laughs> you, ever, you ever reach your hand in? In the gloves? Oh, yeah, my no, God, dude, no. They're attached. <laughs> I just wanted to see if it was warm and sweaty. Did you did you ever go in? I there? never have, but if I did, I know I'd smell my hands after. What do you think it smelled like? Why smell good? Uh, warm and sweaty. I bet it'd be <laughs> sweaty. It'd be like a hockey glove. It'd yeah. Be, it'd be fucking disgusting. Uh, when you put on someone else's football pads. It'd yeah. Like, it'd be yeah. terrible. Yeah. Gross. Yeah, it'd be pretty nasty. Mm. Yeah, but you don't like the kids playing the knockout game. You have a particular hatred for them. Well, there's no way to defend. <laughs> you can't defend against You can't see it coming. There's nothing you can do. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No, well, it's the crap. knockout game. I I think I'd be able to fucking. You would see it coming. It makes you walk I down the it. sidewalk yeah. with your head on a swivel. I can't listen to music anymore when I walk because I'm. Afraid I do of it. I I don't care if someone shoots me in the face. I have to listen to music. Yeah. I'm, like night, I walk my dogs at nighttime, blasting. I'm like, dude, if someone wants to get me, they can. I was get on me. some late night walk last night. You got me, it. Me and a bro passed. Yeah. Passed each other, and it was very like, oh shit, what's up? I look back at him. Yeah. Make sure he wasn't running up behind me, knocking me out, dude. Beating you, punching you. Yeah. I think it's more of a thing, too. I think that it's usually not a lone uh, punch man. Usually there's like, yes. the, it's the bros. Yeah. Yeah, you can They're see having fun. Yeah, it's not a lone puncher. It's usually the bros are out, and you can kind of like, I have a good eye for trouble. I, I have a lot of little yeah, kids. Yeah, how do you identify me. it? Huh? <laughs> What's some Just indicators? Just whispering, snickering. <laughs> yeah. I hear a bunch of kids snickering. I go, What's, What's a solid that? indicator for you when you're like, well, this could be dangerous? <laughs> I would say just the attitude. If I hear what like... What type of attitude? <laughs> Just a lot, of, a lot of rough talking. If I hear a lot of rough talking, I might say, "What the hell are those kids up to?" A lot of rough yeah, talking. Yeah, rough talk. Hear some cuss words. If I hear a bunch of kids cussing, I go, cussing. "What the hell, are these kids?" If they're communicating with their eyes, oh, like a fur- like a furtive glance. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you see a kid like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I told you when I almost got held up at gunpoint. Uh, the, the two kids came up to me. I was walking my my dog at the time was a puppy, and I was walking it, and these two little kids just were looking at me like they wanted to fight me and i was like and i was literally like what the fuck they're like 13 year olds and i was like kind of laughing like what is these what's these kids problem and then they looked at me and then another i was on drexel's campus a drexel student you know, at the time i was probably like 30 living on drexel's campus yeah. like a, a real student we came yes. <laughs> yeah i was yeah a real student came by and they looked at each other literally nonverbal communication went they looked at that kid and they followed him and i went oh i think they're gonna rob that guy oh nice. sure enough i came home and the guy was filling out a police report on his steps. They had robbed him at gunpoint. Nice. You almost could have facilitated that. <clears throat> what do you mean? If they were looking at you and you were like, Mm-mm. I was just kind of looking. I was just laughing yeah, like that true. guy. Like, that I thought they wanted better. to fight me. I was like, I'd beat the shit out of these two kids right now. Yeah. I just kind of gave them a look like, dude, I'd fuck you guys up. And then they just <laughs> went like, <laughs> they looked over and they were like, and I was like, man. Saw a nice Drexel student. Oh, dude. They, they chose well, dude. Yeah. And I had a dog too. Oh, yeah. I had a little, had a a little ankle biter on me, so. They are scared of. I mean, from a tactical position, it's like, you don't know. that My dog could bite your ankles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that dog was particularly yeah. an ankle biter. I know. So yeah. they made a wise choice. They robbed the right guy. I'll be honest. They robbed the right guy. Was he white? Yeah. He was going to the one guy. Uh, I believe he had braids or something. Dude, I went up and went, well, I don't think that one guy had braids, but <laughs> that's your problem, sir. Yeah. You pussy you ass. Got any other ways to describe him? Pussy college ass. boy. Yeah. Any other words you want to use? Welcome college to the city, boy. college boy. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was a, that was like a nice moment for me. Just realizing, like, I do have, I must carry a, le- a like at least like a level one G pass now. All my years in the city didn't go to waste. Yeah. They looked at. They literally looked at. They assessed me and they looked into my soul as a white man and they said. There's something in that one brewing. I don't something know. Something bad is in there. We never we heard about those it. ones, dude. Yeah. That's a mad dog. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> you dude. Could, you would have mad dog. You go white boy, you go white boy crazy on him so quick. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, it's instant. Fucking kill me. 
fucking kill me. You're not taking my su- wallet. I would have sucked the gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking do it, you punk. And they would have done it, too. I they taken, were like 13. I should have taken kids. the fucking gun and shot my dog and be like, look what you guys did. <laughs> look what you did. I'm going to pull your pants You're down now. fucking fry. <laughs> can you molest in self-defense? Yes. If a 13-year-old pulls a gun out, can you fucking grab his penis and be like, uh-uh? A uh, little Mexican standoff, <laughs> dude. Don't fucking shoot me. <laughs> yeah. One pump and you're gay forever. Is this what you want? Do you want to ruin your life, kid? You want to throw it all away right now by being a fucking fruitcake? <laughs> <laughs> gay black guy in Philly. Good luck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be working for Chipotle. <laughs> Everybody's gonna beat your ass. <laughs> One pump. <laughs> You've really led us down a dark corridor here, Francis. Yeah, Francis. Why? Just Francis's racism just exudes. I mean, you I, hate. I like. I like that. I like that painting you made. That was good. Jerking a kid off. I think I say it every time we're together, but I love thinking of Francis. It is. In Harvard, at that long table, you know how they all sit at a long table and wear tuxedos and sing. Really? Oh yeah, they yeah, do. They that. light yeah. candles. We, and are, like, we are the gentlemen of Harvard. <laughs> it's even worse. Ha-ha, we hurrah. stood. We stood. We yeah. stood on the chairs and and held hands and swung our hands. No, that's a lie. Hundred percent true. Holy what? shit, dude! Do you want me to tell you the song? Yes. Yeah. No, I know. This. You've, I've made you sing it before, but let me hear it. A D A D happiness and wealth. A D A D here's to your good health and may you live for a thousand years and Whoa. never get drunk in a veil of tears and always have your children round about you. Hey. Jesus Christ, dude. You guys Man. are fucking Nazis. Yeah. That's a thousand year Reich, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then the the motto was not bread and salt are these, but the hand clasp of my friendship. What's that mean? Who knows? Not bread and salt or these. It was a, I don't a, like a it. toast to the meal or something like that. Okay. That's pretty cool. You know, it's not just food. We're communing right now. I think that's... In our mutual hatred for the poor. and Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mutual mm-hmm. hatred of the poor and the feeble-minded. You know, people... <laughs> People God, get mad at me for ours, hating the poor, and I don't. Our college fucking wow. song was just like, "Bum bum bum, chug that fucking calico, dude, you fucking pussy." <laughs> <laughs> what were the parties like at Harvard? They were they were good, because we, <laughs> we had. <laughs> What we would do is at the club we would uh, we would invite all these girls from Northeastern and BU and sluts, dumb sluts oh. that can never get into Harvard. It was like chambermaids, <laughs> <laughs> chambermaids. Uh, yeah, receptacles. And uh, you what was know, it like they'd see you and be like, "Oh my god!" No, the the pro- the thing was, you know, they'd only the only guys that could come to that our party would be the guys that were in the club. There'd be, you know, 20 per grade. So there's 60 of them because it was sophomore on. Yeah. And then there'd be, you'd, you'd have an email list that you'd send a paperless post invite out. Hey, we're having a Christmas party, whatever. Was this for a fraternity? It is like that. They're the final clubs. What's that? Um, Skull and Bones, dude. Whoa. No, that's Yale. Yeah, but you guys, what's yours? Yours is even more spooky. Ours is not. Those are secret societies. Um, and those are those, Skull and Bones was like the how the CIA was founded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uncle, my grandfather was in it. Yes, we've <laughs> talked awesome. about this. And yeah, I've, I was a little weirded out by that. Um, but, cool. but and then went I into the CIA. CIA ass, you're an I asshole. tried. They didn't let me <laughs> I know, in. I know. Really? <laughs> you're such a dumbass. <laughs> how do you try to get in? <laughs> I applied. Really? Yeah. Did you have any I'll, gadgets on you when you applied, at least? No. Yeah, true. You should have had something up yeah. your sleeve. A tiny I little was, fucking... Was I like, was, do you have a pen? Actually, never mind. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I just took a picture of the whole room. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want it? You should have hit him with the MIB flash at the end and be like, this interview actually didn't go bad. <laughs> uh. You have a pug that just walks in Yeah. Be like, start talking to it. Be like he can't understand you. So you applied. I can what, talk to dogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did they tur- they turn you down? It was just like you threw your application into a. Void. I never got it. I never got an interview. Yeah, it happened to me at Walmart. And I, I was under the impression. <laughs> yeah. That's tough. I, I was led to believe that it was not particularly competitive. That it, were you that, pissed when you saw that commercial of the fucking Mexican lady? 
Yeah. We were like, God <laughs> damn it. I was like, ah, I got beat like, by I affirmative Latinx. action hire yeah. yet again. <laughs> by the goddamn CIA. But come on, let's be honest. Who's blending in, in fucking Saudi Arabia better? Me True. or that lady? You look good in a fucking hijab, dude. I think you look I, like Lawrence of yeah. Arabia. You yeah. look cool as shit. I look like um, Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio on Body of Lies. Mm. Oh. I, what, what, how, do, how would you say that a Western man does try to blend in if he's posted in the field in a place like Syria? What's the outfit? Uh, you got to go like Jumanji clothes, I guess. Long yeah, beard. you got to go full safari. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go short khakis and one of those dumb hats. <laughs> you got yeah, to go World War One. I'm a story of a local <laughs> temple. <laughs> yeah. like, Nigel like Thornberry. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be a fake archaeologist. Yep. Exactly. So you're not trying to the whip. You're not trying to look yeah. like uh, a whip. <laughs> you're not trying to look like a local. But never train on how to use it. <laughs> and then one day, just like <laughs> try to hit a guy. Get, be, get beheaded, dressed like I a think dumbass. it's like prison. You got to go over there and find the first biggest woman and beat the fuck out of her. Yeah. And they're like, "Yo, that guy is fucking that like guy sick. That's for real." You got to hit the marketplace and be like, "Who the fuck is?" What did Trudeau do? Trudeau, yeah. Ooh, maybe he was an asset actually. <laughs> he can't imagine how tortured that would be if you he was actually like, you know, doing what the CIA does and like working for world peace. And he had to do blackface and everyone thinks he's just a piece of shit and having yeah, fun at parties. Just working for world peace. But in reality, yeah, he was trying to like help like bolster up like he was know, trying to give them democracy. Yeah, exactly. And just, you know, has nothing to do with their natural resources. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Well, like they do. Try to make sure everyone's safe and good. Matt, I'm so happy you're here. Dude, I'm pumped. You guys have mended? You mended it? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, back. yeah. I didn't together. believe it for a second. <laughs> it's too much on the line. <laughs> it's too much at stake. Yeah. It would be fun, though. Just a bitter feud. <laughs> because a of that. Bitter feud. Yeah, we were talking and, about. Yeah, whatever. Hopefully, that, hopefully that's what breaks us apart. Bitter fucking feud. This is a Twitter poll. I like to think about that every now and again. I watch a lot of Dame Dash interviews. He, there's a That's a bitter feud. Him and Jay Z, yeah, yeah, like a ten year bitter feud. They're they're just in court, like suing each other constantly, which is kind of cool. It's kind of balling though. It's like the yeah, kind of a sick ending to a working yeah, relationship. It's like litigation. we're we're in court forever for the end to the end of time. We'll just be suing each other in court, mm. hemorrhaging nice. money. Yeah, you guys, each um, of us hemorrhaging money. Yeah, you guys ever been to court? For uh, like anything, traffic ticket. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, no, let's say. Oh, uh, you're saying like real lawsuit stuff? Yeah. No, nah, I wish. I'm. I, I used to fear it. Litigation. But, yeah, but I don't fear it as much anymore. What do you thought? People were like litigious. Like, I just thought that if if I ever ended up in court, it would be a very stressful thing. <laughs> yeah, you'd, you'd be like that Murdoch guy. You kind of. Yeah, I could see you look like his son. Yeah, I do. Because <laughs> I'm a ginger. You don't, dude. I'm just I don't. Saying it. But they weren't so bad looking. No, I don't think so. The dad looked nuts, dude. Mm. Yeah, he was. But he was on opiates for like forever. Yeah, they keep using that against him. Did you hear the reason he takes opiates? No. They make things more interesting. That's what he said? Yeah. Damn. He goes, they just make things more interesting. That's awesome. So I lied to get my hands on him. Yeah, it's fair enough. It's like, oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. I, it's like he hit the old, like, you know, getting high before the movies is just better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah. It's He's like absolutely right, dude. <laughs> it's like, for sure. I taste the food better. Lucy Breakers let you have nicotine whenever and wherever you want it. They have tiny capsules that release your chosen strength of nicotine. When you're ready, break the capsule with your teeth to unleash a burst of flavor. Pause. Yeah, uh, I, I love, love the delicious it. mango flavor. Me personally, I like a little Me fruity too. nicotine. Oh, uh, with flavors like mint, mango, berry, and espresso, there's something for everybody. Get ten dollars off your first order on Lucy.co when you use our promo code Drenched at checkout. Shipping's always free, man. That's Lucy.co promo code Drenched, Shane, to receive ten dollars off and always free shipping. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age, Matt. <laughs> Every order is age verified, Matt. <laughs> well, this product does contain nicotine, Shane, and Shane is or nicotine is an addictive chemical. <laughs> Shane is addicted Shane's to nicotine. Addictive I am chemical. violently addicted to nicotine. Thank you. Bye. Nice. Guys. This plate is the art of the future. High quality metal prints with millions of cool designs. 
Oh, I love display. Check it out. Whoa, oh, yeah, there's that a display. We don't have to do that. We can bring in the actual display. Yeah, yeah where's yeah, the, where's the display? That. Grab Show that off display. these fucking cans for the listener. Oh, there. I didn't realize it was here. Look at this thing. Look at the cans on this lady. Woo! Look at that, dude. You imagine? Could I imagine? I could, but I won't. Look at that. <laughs> That's salt life, dude. You're drinking a bottle of rum. You Woo! see that thing floating around? <laughs> If you're a nerd, snag an epic Star Wars, Marvel, or DC display. And for the chads, they got hot babes and fast cars, too. Easily hang. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Easily hang with the attached magnet and switch out anytime. Guys, all you got to do is click the link in our description to see some of our favorite displays and get our special discount. That discount, you can get one or get two displays at 27% off or 34% off when you buy three or more. Discounts will be automatically applied to your cart. Use code DRENCHED when you visit DisPlate.com to get the discount. That's DisPlate.com code DRENCHED or click the link in our show notes. Get yourself or someone you love unique art with DisPlate. Awesome. <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey. It's the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or on your computer. Uh, Honey is the free shipping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. It supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from gaming products and fashion brands to even food delivery. What I bought and saved a bunch. Oh, my God. On Honey, it's crazy. Personally, well. I endorse this product. Oh, my. Dude, when I use it on my iPhone and my computer, I couldn't ask for a better thing to use for my I love buying it. Especially money when they send us the, J, the J Chain J Train podcast read. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple. When you check out online, the Honey button appears. What? And all you have to do is click apply coupons. You have to call them coupons. Wait a few <laughs> seconds as Honey searches for the coupons it can find. If honey is is a if honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. Dang, it's like being an old lady at Rite Aid with none of the embarrassment of yes. standing there and holding up the line. I love honey and you will too. I never go shopping without it. Honey doesn't just work on desktops. It works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have honey, you could be straight up missing out on deals. By getting it, you're doing yourself a fucking solid <laughs> and supporting the podcast. <laughs> Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash drenched. That's joinhoney.com slash drenched. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, don't disrespect PayPal Honey with a fart. I'm thinking about all the deals. <laughs> the deals, dude. Thank you. Back Now, let's get back to the hit podcast, Matt and Shane's secret podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and then he yeah. shot his son allegedly and wife uh, no he got found guilty it's no longer alleged found guilty yeah is it for did they have like total total proof because he had a than, solid alibi he was at his mom's house i think he he said i was at my mom's yeah he he, had like a no i think the alibi was up. uh or the the thing that got him was like his son's snapchat ah uh, and he was in it he was in it he, he was like i was never there <laughs> it's just him holding a gun <laughs> oh like, shit. no it wasn't that. I, didn't, I didn't follow it at voice all voice in the background yeah yeah i didn't follow it at all I got secondhand from my girlfriend. Yeah, oh, they love that. They loved it. They I was like, I was, that. I was like, I don't think it should be on TV. I agree I was with like, this. It's kind of fucked up. I completely agree with this. Yeah, that, yeah. that Netflix would have released a they a documentary they knew would be very popular uh, on the eve Before of a jury trial. deciding. Yeah. yeah, I think it was mid trial. You think murders yeah. are fixed now? Like boxing? I think domestic horrible murders are fixed. I think they're fixed, honestly. I don't think there's any way for a jury to remain impartial. Yeah, true. Especially if it's a high-profile case. I, I don't know. I don't if think I, they should be putting court shit on TV. Yeah, well, it doesn't do anything to further, like, it's, it's not like up. a national not, issue. Everybody's like, it's our business. It's no one's business. It really isn't. It's You're so right. annoying when crimes, uh, to me, when crimes in the fucking news. Yeah. Like that. Just, yeah, like a personal, Like where it's know, like a guy freaked out passion. and shot his wife and son. Yeah, it's a crime of passion. I'm in mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. I don't, or in New York. I have nothing to do with this. Yeah, I gotta watch a guy cry. I was watching. It, I was like, if he's innocent, this is terrible. Yeah, we're just thankfully, thank God he was guilty. Yeah, true. But if he was innocent, we're just watching a guy break down and be like, I would never hurt my family. I've done a lot of yeah, bad things. The, what yeah, if he was innocent? He had the Oscar Pistorius stream going down. He had the, I don't remember the Pistorius the, one. The mucus coming off of his nose. Yeah, I bet. Well, maybe yeah. he was innocent. Kyle Rittenhouse cried. He was innocent. He's innocent as hell. <laughs> we didn't do a goddamn thing. No, he's giving thing. speeches, making video games and shit. I feel like if you cry, they should be like, all right, all right, clearly innocent. Go ahead. Yeah. Second you, you start crying. Yeah, yeah, true. 
It's like, you cry. You're crying, dude? Like, oh, shit. You Whoa, must be upset. This must mean something to you. <laughs> you must be upset. <laughs> Never mind. No way the jury's going to look at this as a sign of you being unstable. <laughs> 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 Seeing a grown man break down sobbing. There's no way the jury's going to. Well, here's here's my yeah. question. What if he was like, I'm not going to get any more Percocets anymore? And he's like, Meh. I'm going to get a. I bet he can get uh, yeah, he's yeah, you get some perks. He's going to perks at heaven. He's perk mm-hmm. hero, true, yeah. very true. Yeah, he's gonna have to do things for those perks. Yeah, actually, he's got money. Yeah, we'll like, does he though? His he steal it be... all though? He didn't have, like... Yeah, I think Star- <laughs> he has any money. I think yeah, he, he did. He all. took it all out of um, the settlements that he was winning on behalf of his clients, and that was the theory of why he murdered the, his wife and do- his son. Oh, damn! Why he was cheating guys and fake neck son. braces. Yeah. Sucks. Dickhead. Guys in trap. Yeah, fender benders. <laughs> Were you in a fender bender? I'm going to shoot my son in the head. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> they released his commercial. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. damn it. Yeah, I don't so know. My question uh, that I had for both of you when I walked over here, well, I didn't walk, but I, I was, um, I left my building and I went from my apartment out the, you know, front door, past the lobby, past the, the doorman and everything. No doubt. And there were a bunch of people. I passed a bunch of people Doorman. on the way. Sick. And nice. it occurred to me. Must be nice. That, <laughs> well, it's just, yeah. you could have a doorman. Must be nice, dude. You know, I'm not taking that from you. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I Must tried to nice, ship dude. into a bill, you were like, I don't need your fucking Shut money. Up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice, Harvard boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you leave your building. I'm, I'm a West Point man. It's a little different. Dude. It's a higher standard. <laughs> it's salt of the earth. <laughs> I I walked out and I passed all these people and it occurred to me after I walked out the door of the building I live in mm-hmm. that not a single person had seen me, not one, because they'd all been on their phones. Yeah, and 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 even the doorman was having a side conversation with somebody, to the degree that you I don't like it, that when people talk on their phones in public. No, they weren't even on their phone. They were. That's they something were, you hate. They were looking at them. Oh, okay. Yeah. And my point is, I could have walked out of an apartment building, or excuse me, my my a, 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 an apartment that I had murdered people in, and it occurred to me that if anyone, if police came, they found the bodies eventually, and then they asked people for eyewitness accounts. You were here. We see you on the. Closed circuit. You saw him go by. Did you see anything unusual? Not one of these people would have been able to offer any kind of eyewitness account. Yeah. No description. Oh yeah, he was wearing this. No. no oh, he's got a yeah. neck tattoo. Nothing. If only there were a group of kids who could go around like vigilantes and punch people into awareness. Yes. You could hire them. Get them off their phones. Maybe that's what those kids are doing. Grabbing. Yeah. Like, yo, guys, fucking, you only have one life. Yeah. Pay attention. Pay but attention. Wake up. It it led me to this question. All right. Do you think it's easier to get away with murder now than it was before because people are so much more distracted? Is there any argument to be made that uh, there, in some ways it's easier to get away with murder now because no. nobody's paying attention to anything anyone else is fucking doing? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, the guy could literally be on his phone and be like, holy shit, someone's walking by my doorbell. I'm like, bam, there's a guy who murdered the person. Yeah. Yeah. If you were smart enough to know where all the ring doorbells are and all the closed circuit TVs and maybe you put a hood on or something like that. What type of hood? Just like one of these hoodies. Oh, oh. Thin cloth. You know, sunglasses, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, little, dude, the Assassin's Creed hood. Yeah. That's a cool hood. Dude. I think it's, although a lot of murders. <laughs> that's a very big Assassin's Creed hood. A lot of it's murders. Better than the hoods I get. I get tiny, <laughs> my fat face sticks out. Dude, Pull I have the jacket. Streets. I have that. Uh, Gardo, you see that gold jacket I was wearing? That fucking one. Uh, was it you, me, and McKeever, the one uh, Burke gave me when we were there? That's I, nice one. I was wearing it. I put on a fucking snow hat. I just mm-hmm. look like Carbon. <laughs> it's a full Cartman jacket. I was leaving my house. I was like, I, it's cold out. I'm going to put on a snow hat. I put it on. I just looked in the mirror. I was like, holy fuck. I have to wear a baseball hat. Dude. I had to change my hat. Um, but no, I don't think it's easier to get away with murder now. Yeah, I think it's... But a, a lot of murders do I, go I want, unsolved. A lot I of murders do go... A lot more than you would think go unsolved. Yeah. They say the easiest way to kill someone is just go right up to their door and shoot them as they answer the door and walk away. Someone you don't know. Well, I mean, yeah, you could do that. Because if the, you know them, then you're probably going to be a suspect. Yeah. Yeah. The easiest, yeah. Any 
You could Leopold and Loeb this thing. See if you could get away with one. What's that mean? Leopold and Loeb, they were like two gay freaks. I think from they were Ivy League boys, I think. Really? And they were like, I think we can get away with murder. Huh. And they tried. And how'd it work? I, I guess guess I guess we know their names. Know them. Yeah, we yeah. Know them, yeah. Tell me if I'm wrong on that. Would one of you look that up? Leopold and Loeb? Were they Ivy League freaks like this one? Ooh. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's more bookish. Classic Ivy Very League. Very bookish. Back then, though, I think that was big time. It's a great school. It's just Still is? incredibly hard. What do you mean? You don't go to the University of Chicago for any reason other than to to study. That's it. It's like MIT. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Anyway. Um, no, yeah, there's too many cameras now. Yeah. Everywhere. And then you get like you're walking out of your house, your neighbors on your three doors down picks you up leaving. So you'd have to have like a crystal clear. Although you could use like a bomb. That'd be nice. Do you think True. that you guys, any of us, are smart enough to do it? I think it's a matter to of To murder anyone? I could get, I could probably kill a homeless guy. Yeah, we could kill a homeless. Yeah, I could like shoot him. Well, I, I yeah. mean poison him. Maybe hit him with a bioweapon. Poison. Like, I got nothing to like that. Like, I can eat, I can poison a homeless guy easy. But like, I'll get you a drink and just open with Doctor Pepper. Maybe some soup. <laughs> they always want soup. Oh, oh, I could. You could probably kill like twenty. Just yeah, put They're like asking for anthrax soup. in a hoagie tray. Do like hoagie. What is it called? <laughs> hoagie. Mawa does hoagie fest. It's fucking. Like, I'll volunteer and just fucking. Yeah. One, one time, I a guy asked if I if he could if I could get him some soup. Yeah. And we were standing outside of a a place that uh, one of those market sort of delis. Yeah. And I actually went in with him. I walked past. I said, no, nah, sorry. And then I reconsidered. And I went back. And I walked in with him. And I got him some soup. And I was ladling it in. And then he started adding things that he wanted. Oh, Yeah, obviously. He's like, how about some of that chicken? And I was like, I, I just got you a gigantic soup. They're going to do that every time, bro. Yeah. Well, you should give a mouse a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> how good did you feel when you were getting the soup? I felt good until he started adding more. I am, making, a, I am a good man. And making me realize. And then, by the way, it was expensive soup. Cause I got yeah. them, I got them the biggest one. Yeah, you come in like, hey, yeah. excuse me, guys, homeless guy coming through. Hey, guys, I got a homeless yeah. guy with me. Hey, guys, look at me, I'm me. here yeah. to buy a homeless guy's soup. I was his chaperone. <laughs> yeah, I chaperoned him around the store. I had, a, I had a similar experience one time. I was in 30th Street Station, and this guy was asking for money, and I pulled out my wallet, and I had like a five and a twenty on me, and, mm. and I pulled the twenty out, and, oop, and pulled the five out. Ooh. He goes, no, let me get that twenty. And I said, no, here's the five. And he goes, dude, give me the fucking twenty. And I said, now you're not having anything. Goodbye, sir. And I left. Now you don't get anything. Wow. He's being rude. Wow. Happy. Yeah, Teach that him. is rude. You taught him. Yeah, I said, you go back in your little box and think about this. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> think about what you did. Time to start making better life choices. <laughs> <laughs> you should go reflect yeah. in your little box. And that's think definitely about exactly it. what got him there. You being rude to That me. rude attitude is definitely, that's how you end up in a box at the train station. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> they still love trains. Good for bums. Yeah. I know. Bums love trains. They, like they got to stay mobile. All these derailments must be really fucking up their travel. Oh. It's like a flight delay, dude. <laughs> yeah, it is oh. a flight delay. I was going to be on that fucking yeah, toxic all in fucking Pittsburgh tank. right now waiting. They're like, where the fuck is that train? <laughs> I've got a skedaddle. I've got a skedaddle. Move on down the track somewhere else. <laughs> Damn, these guys that... keep me here in Pittsburgh. I gotta... <laughs> Imagine your apple and banana rotting. Knife point fucking... every night. What do you say? In my tent. <laughs> 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 what a fucking wild life, dude! <laughs> Living under a bridge, yeah, it's in crazy. A tent, and the guy just wants you to hear the. Zzz, well, like, it sucks fuck. too because they're in their tent. There's dudes in their tent right now going, "Everyone's fucking laughing at me." And then meanwhile, if people are going, <laughs> people actually are laughing. <laughs> it's funny down there. It is funny how hard and miserable their lives are. Well, that dude, everyone's talking about like rehoming them and like using the malls and stuff, and it's like, all right, do it. Go using ahead. malls. Yeah, everyone's. I think like, they already are in there. Abandoned malls, the <laughs> boys get I've in there. Heard. That's what I've That's heard. That's party time. Hmm. Yeah, but it's like, okay, go ahead and do it. Be like, are you going to be, you know, lifeguard or whatever? You go yeah. blow the whistle there, dude. Are you going to show them how to get some soup? Yeah, you got to go in there. You got to go in there and fucking, you know, hang tough. Like, I don't understand when they're like, what do you what do you think is going to happen when you toss the boys in there? Yeah. Th that place is going to become It's going to be nuts. Dude. Crazy. It's yeah. a jail. It's going to be like those mosh They're going to have videos. to put a fence around it, a barbed wire <laughs> fence and a guard tower, and then they're just going to be like, fuck, we built a prison. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way. You'd have to. Yeah. I, th I think there are people that have this fantasy where you can like shave a homeless guy and like correct his job resume, and he's like, oh my God, thank you so much. Yeah. Just, just down on my luck there for a minute. Yeah. It's almost, I wonder what percent of homeless dudes are down on their luck. 
probably a good amount. There's probably a good amount of dudes who are down on their luck, but also, I don't know, man. Like compared to down on their luck or just clearly mental disabilities, blacked out, yeah, tons of trauma, drugs, yeah, stinks. Yeah, it does. It does stink, but also it's like I, it, as bad as it is, it's like man, I could I could probably like quit everything and try to help, and then need to be after a while you go. Can we can we go back to hating them? Homeless people. We've turned into this corner of uh, actual reality, and it's a lot. It's a downer. It is a downer, uh, the man. Truth? They're yeah. bumming us out. They should knock it off, dude. Yeah, I'm having a good get a day. Job, and I got to see some unwashed man, and I yes. go. Dude. More fun when we were talking about the, the homeless on homeless. When they get yeah, the get thing a, going, I was get like a pocket those knife bits. to your throat. Yeah. <laughs> go, Fuck. Fine. Go. Take it. There's a woman take it. that rides the, the F take train. It, you son of a bitch. I, I've Joke's been on, on the... you, I have bad diseases. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> we both do. <laughs> Double AIDS. <laughs> 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 Fuck, I got AIDS from <laughs> that guy in that tent. <laughs> oh, that was, what a bummer, dude. Why what a he bummer. tell me to wear a condom? I should have wore a condom. What are you raped? You can't wear a condom and <laughs> a guy. That'd be crazy, dude. To have safe. <laughs> is that where they leave Jesus condoms? Out? <laughs> is that why they leave condoms out? Like when you go to like a college campus? <laughs> yeah, it's just for bump. Yeah, just in a fishbowl. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible thing. Damn. I remember how sick that was early in college when you see the bowl of condoms. You're like, Whoa, I might start dumping them this out. Is pretty cool. I remember hearing about it. I never saw them. Yeah. Bowl of condoms? Harvard, yeah. Harvard wouldn't do that. It's no, unbecoming. They didn't have those. Tell you what, Westchester had them. Yeah, I'm. I am still totally against condoms. I think they're a terrible idea. You're you shouldn't right. do it if you need to like literally mylar your penis. It's like just think again. <laughs> Don't do it. It's not. They're not. It's not to be done. It's disgusting. I agree. It's gross. Totally agree. And you're also just blasting jizz into a bag. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> it's gross, dude. <laughs> Gross. Blasting jizz is funny. Not into a bag. Yeah. It takes all the fun out of it. I like blasting jizz on the woman. Yeah. Sure. So fun to blast jizz on them. As you should. On their belly. And then you get up and you're still wearing socks and you look like a fucking dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, I'll get you a towel. Hold on. Oh, dude. And you struggle to get off the bed. Do you want to hear something very embarrassing about me? Hey, <laughs> you find a towel. I look like a turkey with those like white things at the end of it, you know, when they're on the drumsticks. <laughs> That's what I look like when I'm wearing socks. <laughs> I gotta roll out of bed. I gotta go. Hold on, I'll get you a towel. I like, <laughs> I like the image of Shane having sex with uh, elastic bands yeah. around his feet. Yeah. <laughs> the big rough, apple dude. and some rosemary yeah. up his asshole. Oh. What the fuck, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> the apple's in my mouth <laughs> dude i woke up the other morning and i don't know what the fuck was going on I, I it's like i did this in the morning and i didn't realize how fucked up it was till the nighttime so i wake up i told you i had a cool dream about it. i had a jeff cap on and everyone was complimenting yeah. me and like, dude, you're just, like, the whole night it was just me wearing it and being like, ever like no that looks cool and i'm like thanks guys fuck so i that, forgot about that dude, I, I, we got to start getting jeff caps for the show dude I, I wore it and it was it was like my brain was being serious i in that dream i was like yeah. dude, this is so cool everyone is pumped on my jeff cap you look good in a jeff cap i don't know that my dream i was like deeply like nervous about it like I, in my dream i'd be like i don't know how these guys are gonna react I'm like yo dude nice hat i'm like oh thanks guys yeah, yeah. pretty fucking cool <laughs> and then i woke up real life i wake up my wife's breast pumping and i went what did i went yeah i got a pump too <laughs> i fucking fab, <laughs> dude. I woke up. I woke up. wait <laughs> hold on in real life yeah i was just i was like rock hard <laughs> like, and you I actually woke up from my off? jeff cap dream rock hard and oh. i was like yeah i got a pump too <laughs> and then did you complete yes. you i did masturbated it to completion while your wife was breast <laughs> breast pumping <laughs> ew you do that Dude, that's in terrible. In front of her? I didn't think anything of it. Because in my head, I was like, is this weird? I'm like, nah, dude, it's just come. Don't get all weird about sex. Just get it out of your body. Who cares? She said that? I said that to myself. She goes, whatever. So I fapped to completion. And then it was one that had been a while. So I, was like, I rolled over. Yeah. On, on, <laughs> I, went, I, was trying to, I was trying to be quiet. I was trying to be quiet when I was going. 
<laughs> it was like an eight pump rope <laughs> and then i was just like all right is any of these guys awake <laughs> <I went down. laughs> oh my god holy shit dude. i didn't think anything of it until that night i was like cutting like something for dinner and i went what the fuck yeah. did i do <laughs> I was like, that's insane that's insane and i just started laughing maniacally <laughs> and i was like Brittany, i like ran it by her and she's like yeah that was fucked up and i was like but I was like, it's one thing to speak, yo, I gotta get this out. But I was like, yeah, I gotta pump too. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I support almost everything you do. I don't support this one. Whacking off to a breast pump. Is- I wasn't breast it wasn't to the breast pump. It was just, I yeah, was just you like, can still hear the I hear it every morning. Oh. It's nothing to me, dude. Yeah, I guess. I was rock fucking. For some I, reason, that I is- I did diamond cutter, dude. That is the grossest shit in the world to me. The breast pump? A breast pump. Totally doesn't It's totally me. normal. I understand it's totally natural. There's- It literally pulls their nipples like- Yeah. Ju-ju, 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 yeah, I don't like ju-ju. it. Yeah, I don't buy it. And the idea of whacking off around it. It was nothing, dude. It's man versus machine. And then, uh, yeah, true. <laughs> true. Well, credit- you went all natural. Credit yeah. to your wife. I mean, not being phased whatsoever. Nah, not at all. I'm sure she deals with- <laughs> I'm sure this is just a pretty regular occurrence of Joe. He's doing something absolutely insane. Yeah, but him saying, "Yeah, I got a pump too." That was what got me. If I and then her being like, "Of course, of course, that's what Matt said." As soon as he woke up, the Dude. first things out of his wait, was it the first thing you said. So he I probably still up. had that voice of like, "Yeah, I got a pump. Oh, I got a <clears throat> yeah, I got a pump." <laughs> like, pump. I mean. The Bro, problem is I, I really need it to. <laughs> That's a term for jerk off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I, we're both doing dude, this. Now? I was like, I didn't realize. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize how nuts it was until later that night. And I went, "Oh my god, that was insane!" <laughs> and I stopped it. I like ran it by her. I'm like, oh, "I'm so sorry." And she goes, "Yeah, that was a." Uh, that was kind of weird. And I was like, I'm, and I, I was laughing in tears being like, I said, I have to pump too. And she was like, you're not funny. And, you know, I was like, well, that's pretty It fun. is very, very funny. hilarious of me. But also like the fact that there was no like. And it was aware- like a l- eight day load. Oh, bro, it was a week long. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, was a heavy It load. was Monday to the Sabbath, dude. It was yeah. the full. It was a wide load. There the was, cycle of creation. There was cars dude. in front of it saying, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes a heavy load. It had a police escort. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It had flags on it. I would have moved back into the highway for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get yeah. out of the way. <laughs> yeah. That used yeah, to be my was. favorite joke when I was with my sisters in the car. Anytime what? I saw one of those, oh. I'd go. Hey, it's got your name on the back of that truck. <laughs> and they'd be like, what? Oh, fuck yeah. Nah. It's a wide load, dude. <laughs> I'd say, you're a fucking wide load. <laughs> it is funny to think about the moment the words like hit their eyes know, and the they best. got interpreted. The and best. Go, <sighs> I do it to people all the time. I'm like, Chris, I can't believe they named this street after you. You just see it's gay street. <laughs> <laughs> got you. <laughs> yeah, when you make someone find the insult that's when it's really yeah. funny it is I, I think about that all the time you're just like i always think about my mind taking in negative things and it just sets off this whole cocktail of reactions in my body yeah constantly it doesn't stop no shit it's so funny i don't think it'll ever stop by the way i don't think it will either yeah because then you just get old and like worse problems and then you just maybe it, you get old and just ride it out old men seem to have it yeah like if you talk to your dad or phil if yeah. i like phil what's going on he's like i don't give it like shoot me in the fucking dude, head dude literally and this every picture my dad takes he goes that's gonna look good at my funeral dude. yeah put they it love save it. that one he calls it his box party that looks good at my box party that's, a, that's such might... a funny cope dude they're so afraid of oh death. i know dude, they're, they're so terrified. afraid they're terrified it's the only way you can do it is just be like nah i can't wait yeah you can make your dad cry I'm in two done. seconds if you just stop them at a barbecue I'm like dude you did a really good job as my dad dude i love you they'll just be like Whoa. yeah they'll cry how's it going with your father it's great do you, do you call him father no i call no. him dad oh, what's he up damn, to i was hoping father. Do you say i love you to him yeah Oh, man, but he doesn't so nice. say it back. Really? Phil does. Phil never, dude. Phil Me and my dad such, won't do it. We've never Phil has such it. a hard time with it. I yeah. don't say it to him anymore. I say I love you to my mom while I'm on the yeah. phone with my mom and dad. I go, yeah. I love you, mom. I go, all right, see you guys. <laughs> yeah. Go, right. yeah. See a other guy in the car <laughs> yeah. that I don't care about. I'm going to do it to him. I'm going to give it to him one day. <laughs> I love you? I fucking love it's you, tough. Man. It is. They handle it real weird. I told you when Phil, I don't Phil goes, all right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he does. Yeah. I accidentally hugged my dad one time and he went, like that, and he flinched. And was like, Ugh. yeah. Because I was like, I was coming out of a breakfast. I like went to hug my mom, and I like wasn't paying attention. It was just my dad, and I went to hug him, and he went, 
Whoa. My mom, I think we've talked about it before. My mom got into a recent, like the last like eight years, she started hugging. Ooh. We've always hugged a little, but yeah. like she try to kiss you on the cheek when you come home. Yeah, I do hug She's you. She's short and she always hits me in the neck. And I oh. was like, ew. Oh. Can, and I, she's like, yeah. <laughs> you can like hear her. I'm like, all right, mom. <laughs> you don't love me. I'm like, mom, stop. It's gross. You should bend down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get it Next time she goes say, for it I'm going to go <laughs> <laughs> Stop kissing dude It's weird <laughs> It's just what you wanted I should try to kiss Phil on the cheek Oh, He'd push me He'd fight yeah If you can't dude, No got, he would know See Phil's got a good sense of humor He would know I was fucking with him What the hell are you doing You guys have that back deck If he's ever standing Looking over Come from behind him And kiss <laughs> him, kiss on, him the on, the, <laughs> kiss on the back of his neck yeah. <laughs> Holy shit <laughs> Holy shit, dude! He's, that he would he'd like. Fucking smash. Yeah, he would stand up. He'd pull you guys both over the edge. And he tries to like when I fuck with him when he's on his recliner. I love like coming up and slapping him in the head and shit. <gasps> he tries to get up like fast, like he's gonna chase oh. me. He's always like. <laughs> 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 you can fuck with him I take Dude when he's drinking I always take the remote from him oh, It's so fucking oh fun God. He comes over to the Elks And when I'm home I try I don't drink I'm home I'm yeah. just like Hanging out Phil comes home from the Elks I'm like <laughs> He'll sit down He'll go to get another drink I'll take the remote <gasps> Sit back down on the couch <laughs> He comes back and he's like <laughs> Give me a remote shame <laughs> try, I go, Do the whole fucking <laughs> like I, let it, I, let, I let it touch his hand He's like fucking let go of it <laughs> oh, it's So fun That's dude. the best dude you tease. I love teasing Phil Oh it's so funny He loves it I bet He starts yeah. laughing Yeah Just Give me it <laughs> And then he'll, he'll laugh And then he'll switch into like actually mad <laughs> He gets furious hey, Give me the fucking room that, that is a perfect like spaz brain though <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Seriously, I'm like no seriously Do not fuck off God damn it <laughs> but yeah, the slow get up is great. If I kiss the back of his neck, he would do that oh on the deck. God. He'd be like, <laughs> "The hell are you doing? <laughs> you fucking kiss your father on the neck." Imagine, imagine if he sent a male prostitute to the house. Yeah, it's a hot male prostitute. Oh, what if it worked? <laughs> <laughs> what if I was like, "This is gonna be a funny prank," and then my dad fucked a guy. <laughs> Just tore apart my entire family in existence. <laughs> <laughs> Phil was gay. Shane, why did you do that? What the <laughs> hell? Oh. Sent over that damn guy. Oh, just an him. olive skin man with like a ponytail <laughs> goes out and fucking gets. Gay. I think Phil and Tommy hooked up at the beach on the beach trip. <laughs> <laughs> they love. They were talking a lot, dude. I think Phil liked looking at Tommy's body. Dad, stop fucking my comedy friends, dude. <laughs> Dad. This yeah, gets out. beach trip was so nice. Oh, it was so fun. Where'd you guys go? Uh, like outside of Panama City. Yeah, oh, cool. Florida, Emerald Gulf Coast. Yeah, it was very, very nice. Emerald Isle, beautiful. It was literally the best sunset I've ever seen in my life. Hmm. Yeah, beautiful, dude. It mirrored. There was a, like a an eighth of an inch of water, just like a sheen on the sand that was mirroring the sunset, so oh, wow. you see it on the ground and up. Yeah, it was just fucking beautiful. It's nice. Yeah, we were all on mushrooms. I was yeah. cool. blacked out. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, fucking saw it. <laughs> yeah, fucking sunset. It was crazy. You used to invite me on those trips. Yeah, you never came. Well, you never went. Which one? Uh, uh, South Carolina. Oh, yeah. I wanted to go. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that never happened. You kept sending me links to the houses we were going to rent. Yeah. I, I even started thinking about what I would pack. I got... What would you pack? Well, I didn't pack. I just thought about what I would. What would you pack? I was going to think about what cool which, hats like this one. It's challenging. It's beach hat. Preparing yeah, to hang out with you yeah, guys is good. hard for me. Why? Because I don't want to overdress <sighs> and have you make a, you know, I, that's I, cash. You look cool as hell. I know. I worked hard to to pull this off. <laughs> what? Why don't yeah. you just be you? Look be at what you. he's wearing. How do you blend with that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's a good outfit. <laughs> New balance. You look like Sweatpants. you bought all of that today. <laughs> I bought and, and because you were you you escaped from somewhere. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Frank, like you're on the run, and you had to buy that. You think I'm not running anywhere? I'm on the walk. <laughs> He's on the walk. Dude. I got here before he was here, and I was turning into the house, and he's coming up the block, and he goes, Frank. Or no, you said Francis. And I look up, and you, you, you were there. That was you, like that. Yeah. And I'm like, man, that's Shane. He's come, he's come a long way. 
<laughs> the fuck, dude? I, I mean it. You no. can be you. Says. Not all of us do. I can't be me. You could. What would you know. what, what would be full if this was a year you became more fully you, what would it be like? Um that's the thing. I don't even have. I haven't had the luxury of thinking uh, what isn't I would that be. The worst when you think about like you, like you do this or that, and you realize like I don't know what I want at all. Yeah, there's just a void when I check in with what I really want. Yeah, Jesus Christ, this is a non-answer. But I was thinking I would wear a nicer <laughs> shirt, and then I and <laughs> shut up, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you guys you'd make fun of me. No, I would never make fun of you. No, man, what the fuck? If you can't, I'd love to have you on beach trip. There's another. There's a beach trip coming. Where when in November of twenty three? Oh, I like the to sound of that. Hawaii, w- really? Yeah. Wow. Maybe you play your cards right from then till now, dude. I'm ne- always now playing my then. cards right. We've been friends for a lot of years. We have. I, I miss you. I haven't seen you. In I a know. While. I You've been too that. busy on the road. Yeah. You road dog. I was I, telling my wife how much I love you. I was like, dude, France. I was like, like who's on the podcast? I'm like, this dude is the best. Literally yeah. is. Oh I told God. him. I told him you said that. Yeah. When I when I I was like, we gotta get a cool guest, and I I was like, oh, I got a good one. Told Matt we were getting Francis, and Matt was like, I love Francis. Yeah. You're the best. Yeah. You guys are so nice to me. That's the yeah. truth. I, I could have worn whatever I wanted. Literally, whatever. It would not have been a big deal. I wear this to go pick up my daughter from fucking preschool, and I always forget I'm wearing this. The teachers <laughs> are like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Travel buddies? Yeah. You know, I, dress, I don't dress as... Matt dress is insane, too. Yeah. That hat is insane. <laughs> Everything about it. What is that? Top Cape, to bottom. He's wearing a turtleneck. Cape Coral. <laughs> He's wearing a fucking turtleneck. And what's dude. on the top of it? <laughs> His hocus, dude. It's probably paint. Is it paint? It's paint. Yeah. My hocus and my turtle. Dude, I love turtlenecks, man. He was wearing a pa- he at his kid's birthday party. He was wearing a Pangea t-shirt. <laughs> it was just Pangea. He that loves, shirt rules. He loves Pangea. I love Pangea, dude. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just I'm it's drawn nothing. to it. Nothing. It means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Pangea means I'm drawn nothing. To it. Dude, what are you talking about? Is how much different things can be? We used to all be one country, dude. No, there was we no drift country. apart. Well, to be fair. Not yet. You don't think the Jews control Pangea? <laughs> now you talk about language. Now I see why you like it. I didn't even know it was a conspiracy. We were still alive during Pangea. The Jews killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously. Maybe they were the dinosaurs. Can we, can we have fun now again after Kanye went into hiding? Yeah. He, we're ruined, he really fun. spiked the ball, dude. Do you know where he hid? Where? Um, at the Amangiri Resort in Rhone. Went on their vacation there and saw him. Yeah, saw him. And he, he, nobody had seen him for like a month. And so he was like, hit? that's Kanye yeah. in the lobby. Yeah. Getting a It was like a week after I talked to him. It's crazy. Because yeah. I remember they're like, he's gone. He's missing. I yeah. Like, I just talked to him last week. Is that <laughs> like, that missing? Was, yeah. yeah. What's yeah. he up to now? I heard he put up a cryptic post now. I thought, I, I, I heard the rumors of him and Adidas getting back together. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah. Really? Like Adidas, Adidas was like, oh. Adidas was like, well, we can't lose $5 billion. (laughs) Yeah. We should have never invested $5 billion in sneakers. (laughs) Fuck. Yeah, but it was going well, wasn't it? They were doing very well. Number one. Dude, I honestly, I really, I was was thinking about Kanye recently. I I think what he was really doing, you know, whatever way he did it, I think he was just poking fun at the whole idea of like having these stupid labels and boxes. He was. He was like, dude, we're, this is kind of embarrassing. It's time we just grow up and get it's exactly over it. exactly Well, he was also, he was trying to do the Jesus thing. Yeah, that's He was saying, I love Nazis I love, the same way as I love yeah. Jews. Yeah. He was trying to go exactly what Jesus would say. Yeah. Although I bet Jesus would have gone, those guys need to knock it off. Yeah, what do you think it would have mm-hmm. flipped the fucking... I think Jesus was more on. human than people remember. True. I think he would have said, we got to kill those fucking guys. Oh, right? yeah, because he's a Jew, too. I forgot yeah. about that. I always forget Jesus was yeah, a Jew. Jesus I always thought he was pissed. like Irish or whatever. Yeah, he was Irish. Yeah. He was obviously Irish. <laughs> His red face, fucking like, ooh, that'd be a tough turn the other cheek. Irish? When they melted, no, when they melted your cheek off, and you're like, Ugh. what do you mean? If you're a Jew, if you had to turn the other cheek on the, it'd be like, There's oh. no more cheeks. Jesus, we're out of all our cheeks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, that's a tough that one. That would have been the ultimate test. What? To be like forget forgive them father they don't know what they do mm. i bet a couple guys hit it you think so yeah you know where they had that there had to be dudes hitting that yeah, that must guess, have fucked the guard up rwanda right. was big on that what that's how they fixed their country it was after the genocide everyone unilaterally committed to forgiveness and really? it is what completely fixed their country that's and they went from a genocide in 1990s yeah to being i think one of the most industrialized who westernized was, who was genociding them it was the Hutus, Hutus versus the Tutsis. Yeah. It was an ethnic cleansing. Two tribes just Yikes. hitting each other. 
Yeah. So it was but, a but dual, no, it was no, it was oh, one, it was one, one way. Was crushing the other it was way. one yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. The Tutsis, who was getting it? The Tutsis. The Hutus were 85% of the country. The Tutsis were 20 or 15%. I got a feeling that that 15% didn't fare too well. No, they got smoked. Yeah. They're the ones who got, they got, they were, it was, it was, they killed uh, a million people in a month. Whoa. It was nuts. Is there any more uh, of the of the 20% left or are they? Yeah, they didn't. Uh, they they didn't, didn't. It's actually harder than people think to exterminate. Yeah, they race. didn't get everyone. But <laughs> I think it's easy. It's really fucking hard. But if now they shows anything. It's not it's funny. Yeah. It's funny to think of Nazis having that kind, like just Hitler and Goebbels hanging out, just like it's just it's not that easy. We thought this was gonna be a kind of a walk. This is a lot harder than it's fucking seemed, dude. <laughs> yeah, find them. <laughs> now they know what we're up to. They're all yeah, fucking tricking us. <laughs> Sons of bitches. Know, what's what? Yeah, that's gotta be. That's crazy though. Yeah, and now they don't. Uh, they don't subscribe they to any now? ethnic identities. It's just one people, Rwandan. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's what. That's what I'm saying. I God think damn, it, that's almost impossible. To well, this was all forgive. built around. Somebody it was fucking th- killed my village with machetes. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna kill it. Like I hate them the forever. Pre- it helped oh, that yeah. the president that they elected in the wake of it was. Uh, I think he was a. He had fought in it, and he was the one that came up with that policy and had lost family members himself so he he fought in it on the losing side i think he was hopefully. just yeah i yeah. think yeah i yeah, think he was, he was on the winning to... side and he was like all right now that that's done we gotta say sorry to everybody yeah. gotta, right. Right. no no you can't come back Go shake hands yep. yeah shake hands good fight <laughs> he's, good with genocide <clears throat> sorry he's beloved and he's been the president now for i think 25 years and everyone loves him and says he's just and he's created a safe Rwanda and all of this. But if you start digging when you're not actually in the country, there have been a pretty decent handful of political dissidents that have lost their lives in hotels. Really? Around, around, not, not even in Rwanda. They, it, they've all been in South Africa. Or what, are they dis- in, what are the dissidents? Are they being like, yo, we should fire this war back up? Potential they- opposition leaders? Because they have democratically held elections every so yeah. often, every yeah. certain amount of years. So he's like the Clintons. Sure. But in a good way. <laughs> it's a decent comp. Yeah. yeah. Uh, suicides. <laughs> Body yeah. count. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, then again, though, that's kind of crazy. What if, you're, what if he knew his opponents were all going to fire the fucking thing back up? That's probably an easy one to mobilize. But like, yo, remember we used to fucking kill those dudes? Yeah, and and yeah. you get over there and you hear all these horrific stories and you start to think a little bit like, well, you know what? If everyone in this entire country is behind this guy and he's actually not, you know, sending secretive chunks of government funding to a Cayman Islands account for himself and he's actually led the country into prosperity and it's like improving... If the cost of that is 12 potential opponents that would have beaten him in an election, yeah. What other way what other way is there? Yeah. Yeah. You how, should, how, yeah how, that's a CIA boy how right fragile, there. True. How fragile <laughs> is their democracy? You should send this. We should clip this. You can send it as your fucking <laughs> I started to buy I started to buy it. I don't know. I started to like drink the Kool-Aid a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah. he should have fucking killed those people cuz no one else would have been able to make the, the d- democracy was so fragile following the genocide yeah that he's the it. only one in my in my opinion yeah who could have kept it together i like it yeah i'm, I'm a fan I'm, I'm glad they're not you know like if if washington yeah you're right after had stepped down after two terms and the next guy hadn't been adams but had been some fucking lunatic yeah, yeah. what happens to america you're right. Yeah, I don't I know. know. Rwanda was doing so good. I'm I'm happy for them. They're doing really well. Yeah, well yeah. They do say after the storm usually comes the rainbow, so <laughs> it's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, you know, good for them. Germany's doing well too. Are they doing good? Maybe, uh... maybe a little too good. <laughs> Are they kill? Is Germany crushing it right Did now? You work. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> you think in reality you're just getting rid of all the bad vibes? Yeah. Like, so then is the that? question is, who needs Dude, this is, Shane? Uh, some rough takes on Shane, this one. <laughs> who needs to go here? You tell me, guy no. who blocks the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one I think who can answer that question. Who needs to go in America? Yeah. Well, if we were to what? Root it out the problem. No. Oh, you're saying who needs to go in and knock that no. and stop that? No, he's saying if you had to commit a 
had in the United States, who would you pick? That's what, what he. Hell? That's what he his asked. Words. His words. It's exactly what you asked, Frank. What were you asking? He's right. That was the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, hold on. We can do. Let's say you can do any demographic. I'm so age, saying. Yeah. Sex. Profession. Profession. It was the scoundrels. Okay. If you get rid of a group of scoundrels tomorrow, how that improves that everyone agrees this is going to improve the country. Oh man. Hmm. Who's that? Who, who, who would ever be like? All right, we didn't want to commit a but. pedophiles. I guess you can maybe do some petties. Or what happens in this? Are the people committing it going to be held as held as, Are we going to get hung? We can, kill them. Can they be exiled? We're killing them in the streets. They're not. Oh, Jesus man. Christ, <laughs> Yeah, we're going in. We're going up. We're rounding them up. We're killing them. Who do you want to kill? That's what He's I'm saying, asking. It's just well, a question to ask you. I know, but I'd like to not answer. I decline. Who do you pick? You can say pedophile. You can say pedophile. Oh, yeah, pedophile is the easy answer. Pedophiles, easy. That's a safe. That's my politician. Pedophiles. Yeah. Pedophiles. Pedophiles. But then, but the, but it's like is is the, the stri- is America working <laughs> a lot less poorly as a country because of pedophiles? I think. They, How much does that tip the scales in Jesus the right direction? Christ, dude. You're talking about in terms of like GDP? I don't know the functionality. Yeah. You know they're eating up resources. They're are like, they? The fucking Mike's Hard Lemonade stock would plummet. <laughs> 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 so hopefully, they, yeah, Mike uh, Hard, you gotta sell uh, your stocks before we. True, Round yeah. up the peds. Yeah, I don't know. This is a conversation I think that makes everyone's hair rise in the back of their neck. Yeah, yeah. It is a thought exercise. I say, you can say pedophiles. Can Plus, you not? Can you not say the elderly? The elderly. Yeah, that'd be t- what, what's elderly then? What's the uh, elderly? Like 70, 80, so 90? The president. 80, 85 on. How do you get rid of them? That's the question. Stop treating them. Oh, you just let them ice drift. What's we Eskimo that? them. We put them on a fucking yeah. block of ice, and that'd be cool. Like a never any like a cruise. You just set a cruise out. It kind of becomes could like do a good, cruises. They become there. They love cruises. Yeah, you just oh. set a cruise out. Mm-hmm. You literally let them sail to the sunset. Mm-hmm. Depends. But then it's like, what if they have? What if? What if then you think about? What if they all had like their cookies? They're trying to like call their grandkids, and everyone's going like, shh, they're gone. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know. Cruise ships are like, a decent way to do it. True. Get the boys on the cruise, have a fun time, and yeah, yeah. But you would need a couple of the servers on the cruise to die with them, though. No, put no one on it. Oh, what would just, just just push them out? Yeah. Have fun until you aren't having fun. Just anymore. let all the slot machines keep kicking coins out, and they're like, yeah. Eventually, slowly realize there's no food. Or there's shot down by a Chinese fucking naval ship. <laughs> yeah, that'd be sad. That'd be terrible. We, we've, um, we've through the advancement of medicine, we've prolonged life to a point where it's unnatural. Yeah. Do you think? I mean, this we'll is. See. I'm, I'm looking for a lifeline from you here. We're about to get here. low population. We're about to get low population. So the population is going to dip pretty hard. In so, which case, we're going to really need to get rid of the elderly, because now we're going to have more fucking old people than young people, and we're yeah, going to spend gonna our be, entire economy on hospice care well it'll be lucrative because they'll have they're, they're gonna these the people who the, the baby boomers have the most resources so it's like then it'll be a big thing of like taking care of them doing the stuff they need they're gonna be shelling out like a lot of money yeah hmm. it's yeah, not a really the productive markets. country though huh it's not a very productive country just taking robots. care of old people robots brother what we about got, robots the robies we get the robots we'll doing production we don't have to worry about that we just have to worry about our malls <laughs> i was and talking malls. to spot about it today because i was watching that fucking i was watching a youtube thing about like mega structures that oh, they're yeah, working yeah. on yeah and i was like i don't we're not that smart yeah i don't believe anybody's coming up with ai with the i think that's bullshit no, i'm just talking about like robot manufacturing ai i'm, I'm skeptical All of it, yeah yeah i think we're pretty far away really i mean AI i don't think we're as smart as everyone's acting like we are that could be true. I think robot manufacturing is pretty. They like they were that. showing these ideas for all these like future cities and mm-hmm. shit. I was like, we're not coming close. To we're that. not doing that. This one. is ridiculous. Yeah. Have you been outside in a regular city? Yeah. We're not in the. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not like the park, like that. Even that little. You know. Yeah. Now that you say that, like the thing you type in to like park sucks. Nothing works. That's bullshit. Everything sucks. That should be just like touch that with my thumb, or something. Yeah. And it's like boom done. You know what is solid? Paying with a credit card using your phone. That rules. 
See? That's impressive. That's next level tech. Yeah, I guess yeah. you're right. That that works as often and as it does. Where I'm like, oh fuck, I forgot my wallet. Oh, I have my credit card on my phone. Yeah. I finally ran into a right clear a clear machine that broke. You know, clear at the airport. Oh, I love clear. And it's it's it relatively new. So now they're finally starting to fucking break. Oh. Like I did like the stick my can. eyes in it was like yeah. d- 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 like it was like freaking out. What the hell? Was it like people, your eyes are way kiosk malls people were like I don't know how. Were the you fuck making a funny yeah, face? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. You were you goofing face. on it? <laughs> yeah, I was Undertaker in it. <laughs> I was like I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fun trick if you got some time at the airport go hold up the clear go fuck up the clear <laughs> <You're> just fucking <laughs> yeah alright let's switch over to the Patreon. Patreon thank you for joining us Frank it was yeah, a pleasure man. join the Patreon thank you guys so watch the rest of this Frank's gonna continue to ask about <laughs> oh boy thank you 